Hey everybody, it's Geek Girl Cook. Unfortunately, I cannot show my face today. Alright, I've done videos like this before where I can't show my face, but I can show you what we're going to do. Today, we're going to be roasting a fish. Kind of a large fish, too. This is what you call a sea bass. I caught him myself with these hands right here. Well, anyway, we're going to get right started. All right, so right here, I added some seasonings. Whatever you want to put. What I do, I put oil in there first, and then I just dump a bunch of seasonings in. Whatever seasonings you like. And what I did, I just finished cleaning this fish because, like I told you, I caught this fish myself. So what I did, I cleaned them, and I split them. Oh, more stuff. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I like to be perfect with this one. Well, anyway. So, this fish is nice and clean already. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some of the seasoning. And I'm going to put it inside. Add no salt to this, which I should have done. I don't know. I don't want it to be over salted because fish, if you're not very careful, it will be a little too salty. But I did add seasonings that have salt in it, so it should be all right. Well, what I'm going to do, no, I'm going to add some salt. Just in case. I don't want to be disappointed. Alright. That's it. That's all for that right now. From that side. Then I'm going to close it. And I'm going to put some. Slits in it. Oh, my seasoning running out. It's alright though. Alright. Then I'm going to put some seasoning in the slit. I put a lot of seasoning in this. Whatever you want to put in there. Alright, so I'm going to flip this now. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I'm going to put some slits in it. This is a very meaty fish. Very meaty fish. Maybe some people aren't familiar with sea bass. Maybe some are. If you are familiar with it, you know that it's a very meaty fish. Next time, don't do like I did and do the inside first. No, excuse me. You could do the inside first, but do the slits before you start seasoning. That's what happened. I start slicing it. And the seasoning was running out. Well seasoned fish. Yes, I do everything with my hands. I like it. Line the seasoning. Mm, 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 mm. 
Look at that, look at that. See, it's not bad, boy. Alright, let me just wash my hands. this in the refrigerator. I'm going to refrigerate this for about eight hours. For like eight hours. The reason why is because this is a very thick meaty fish and with a sea bass if you don't season it and let it sit and let them season and soak in, you're gonna have a very bland fish. It's still gonna be meaty, but it's gonna be bland. Who wants a bland fish? Not me. All right, so I'll be back in about eight hours. All right, see you then. All right, guys, so I'm back. It's been about, it's been about nine hours, to be honest with you. All right, so. Here's my fish. Now, I did something that I forgot to tell you guys. I had to switch foils because I had to put butter on the foil so the fish wouldn't stick, all right? Nobody want all the goodness to be stuck, all right? So, I'm just going to open it up so I can now put a little butter in it. Now, you can put, you can put all kind of stuff in this. You can put some okra. You can put some corn. You can, you can put whatever you want. You can put some string beans. For people who know, they could put some collaloo. They could put spinach. You know, the list goes on and on. But for this fish, I'm not going to put anything. All right, so I'm going to close it back up. Remember... We want this, we're going to roast it, so we want this tight, all right? I want it touching. 
close it up because you don't want nothing to be leaking in your oven. Make sure it's closed up. All right, so what I'm going to put this on, I'm going to put it on a baking tray, but I'm going to use this rack. And I'm going to use the rack so it can cook more evenly. If you lay it flat on the surface of a pan, it's, it's, a, it's a strong chance that it will get stuck. Butter or no butter, it still can get stuck. I got my oven on 500. Remember, we're roasting. We're not steaming. All right. So I'm going to put this in the oven. Mm, I like to say I'm going to start off with 20 minutes. And then we're going to, because it's, it's a really big fish. All right. But we're going to start off with. 20 minutes and we'll see what happens I'll be back I'll be back very shortly all right so it's been 20 minutes let's see what it looked like this for another oh. I'm gonna cook this for another 20 minutes cuz I want it Let's see oh yeah I'm gonna cook this for another 20 minutes like I said it's very meaty very meaty fish so I'm gonna let it go for another 20 minutes and by then everything should be good it should be so that'll be 40 minutes remember this is a very big fish, and you want your fish done done. I know I want mine done done, all right? So, I'm going to put it back in. By the time I come back, this will be done. All right, I'll see you in another 20. All right, so I'm back. This is the finished product. So what I did, I let it cook for another 20 minutes. And then I open it up and I let it broil for not even a minute. Alright, so give it a try. I'm telling you, this fish is good. I picked a little piece on the side but I can't show you because I gotta do a thumbnail all right forgive me I'm still an amateur at video taking but like I always say I'm gonna get better look at that all right please like share and subscribe see you later bye bye